Hello, hello. I'm dressed today as a scarecrow because here is Doc's birthday present. A scarecrow, and there's the old scarecrow himself. <laughs> <laughs> yes, lean over here. Don't. Anything I can't stand is a man halfway on and halfway off the screen. <gasps> oh, I thought you were talking about sex or something. Ah, uh -huh. uh -huh. I've never been on. So and he looks before. like a scarecrow. I. That's right. <laughs> People pay to see money. Uh -huh. They pay me to go out in public and. Uh, <clears throat> but his birthday has come. Hey, how old are you? Uh, I don't know. I've had a couple of women say that <laughs> you're older than your age. You, no, you're older than dirt, and I was still in my thirties. Uh, uh, you are older than dirt. I doubt they said that to your handsome self. I can name a couple of them. Oh, older than dirt. Well, it must have been your personality, not your looks but anyway yesterday was his birthday well they said it while i was naked so i mean there you and go, right? he got himself the best birthday present a new tv so now when we look at his tv we don't have to blink and go oh that hurt my eyes oh and it's smaller too smaller a, a more sensible size for this little 40 inch. i had a i had a and, uh, 46 inch well, watch that scarecrow man this scarecrow here was a birthday present from one of his admirers admirers and uh, uh this female was, please let's not start casting uh, and then this was one my for character. me I gave him this <laughs> yeah, no. because he likes to decorate and so here's him a little pumpkin uh, to indicate it's Halloween. He has so many new dads around here that you probably won't I'll have trouble trying to tell but anyway uh, I'll set this uh, over here. You want me to tell you where you can put that? Uh, <laughs> For some reason, he doesn't want. No, I mean, it may no, not feel good at he first. Loves but get it. Still. He loves it. He loves it. But he, anyway, he asked me to write a uh, to. You want do, me to tell you where you can put this? No, Wait a minute. Put this right I'm going to use it for curling. You know what curling is? You know that on the ice. Mm, oh. This is you know back up in the Scandinavian countries. You know, it it slide it down instead of bowling. It, it slides on the ice. That might and break people, people it. Okay. Run down in front of it and uh, use a broom and you know make sure it gets as far as it can go. And then when they want it to get stopped, they stop brooming it and it goes. You know, it's called curling. I'm sorry. I just happen to know this crap that nobody else cares about. See, about Thank that? you. Thank you for your lecture. <laughs> How long was that? Five minutes? Well, uh, come on. It wasn't. It wasn't more than four. Everybody knows four to five. That was about it. So anyway, uh, he is here, and uh, it's his birthday, and uh, no, no, yes, it's been was a my week. Birthday. Since uh, my book came, uh, my book came out on Amazon. I wonder why we're doing this as a ebook, and I've been selling it everywhere I went. I have had little uh, pieces of paper that I wrote all the information on, and I give them to people, even if they don't want them. I force it on them, and <laughs> you should have put all of the adhesive tape on them. Hi, how you doing? Slap it on their chest, and they go home. And go, what the hell is this? <laughs> By the way, I have uh -huh. I hate to um, start out the morning, you know, it's only like eight you know, thirty. But you're not selling your book. What you are doing is you're advertising it, okay? Selling mm -hmm. means they well, buy something oh, from I you, know. right? They, 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 money okay, exchange. money exchanges or something exchange. exchanges. All right. But anyway, the, the lady is, who gave him this one I am very fond of now. Because she, I, mean, I had no idea she even had a Kindle or even knew what it was. And she came up to my apartment, knocked on the door, and told me she loved my book. And then she even went down and knocked on his door. And what did she tell you, dog? 
I don't think I should say this out loud because there are certain words that are not supposed to be used uh, in this. No, she loved my book, right? <laughs> <laughs> well, that's just what I said. I don't think I want to tell people that. I mean, yes. yes. Oh, I well, uh, we've had quite a, uh, rela uh, a history with Kim, the lady who loves my so you're book. Not supposed to use so now I names. love her. Uh, she. We used to, he used to go around with her before I came upon the scene. And uh, I don't know why she didn't make more fuss than she did About what? when I came and intruded into your relationship. Well, what was it? We over? never had a relationship. Well, you used to go to the art store together. Isn't That's that a, a relationship? relationship? Well, it's the kind we ha uh, have. What do I do? I come down here. To uh, what? You're to implying, look at his TV. You're, that's right. For one thing, because I don't have any TV. And he relationship. has cable. So, uh, I mean, what a big waste for it to be wasted just on him. <laughs> so, in yes, exchange, so she says, I'm paying for the thing. Yes, in exchange for watching his cable on occasion and uh, why he has let me. Uh, well, I, I uh, do his online bills, which he pay, you know, bill pay. And yeah. he doesn't like me as a secretary because now I know his business. And uh, he's not a very good businessman. I tried to slow him down, tell him he can't afford him. half this I stuff. I said, your problem is you're sticking your nose in other people's business where it doesn't belong. Well, I am your secretary, and I see the stupid mistakes you're making. And he doesn't think a secretary should express her opinion of his whatever. Oh, and then when you take dictation from him, oh my! <laughs> God help me! This is how he does. He wants to send uh, letters and messages to his stepchildren and. So he dictates well, one really to funny. me, That's right. and, and I'm you know typing that... away, and, I'm, and then he'll say, read that back to me. I say, okay, so I read it back to him, and I type a few more. Now read that back to me again. I read it to you! Yes, but, no. but unfortunately, you oh, add who certain is things in there I this? did not say. You have a tendency to add things that I did not say. That's why I ask you to read it back. Oh, well, you think I'm going to read the part that I put in there that you don't know about? I skipped that before. part. And by the time we get through, he has asked me to read the message, the damn message, to him at least six times. Would a, 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 any secretary would I have never quit. asked you more than five. At five this times point, at husband. this point. Five, five, five. It's the only secretary job I've got, so. <laughs> and you know why? It pays for my you never had one before. TV, and then he has the nerve to insult me over my choice of programs. <laughs> you know, he's never watched wait, murder, wait, murder wait, in his life, and he thinks just because I want to watch murder, his life is in danger. Yeah, but you're the. And first. I might go run amok. Yeah, but the problem is, is that see. You're the only woman I've never, I've seen watch women watch you know murder shows, but you're the only one that takes notes. Uh, takes notes, you know, like that. Uh, I remember that. If you've grown up, oh, you know, it, among cattle so it me a little bit worried about uh, all those notes criminals, you keep taking, petty you know? criminals, thieves. You, you're interested in crime. Now, is that a crime? Is that a crime? Does that make me a criminal just because? Uh, I could have been a good detective. I should, you know, I think people who because you uh, stick your nose know a lot about crime, where it shouldn't be they cut your nose would off. make good detectives. And uh, I'm always telling him, uh, well, who do you think did this crime on T, you know? And, and he, you know, he's been so sheltered. He has never watched true crime on TV before he met me, he claimed. So now he feels that his he has deteriorated, uh, letting me. Uh, I don't feel that watching. way at all. I mean, I know it for a fact. Oh, oh my! <laughs> he 
know the history of There's a difference between you thinking know, about something you, and actually know, knowing know. it. You know, I know I'm deteriorating. And, you know? uh, abnormal so we're done with this, we're going to put on ID murder. Oh, by the way, I love that one about the, uh, oh, the... Uh, uh -huh. Beauty Queen Murders, oh, that was so Beauty good. Queen Murders, oh, yes, boy. because, you know, uh, okay, that's not, I may not have been a Beauty Queen, but I had sisters who were Beauty Queens, and their lives were threatened, you know, it just seems like Beauty Queens get their lives threatened a little bit more than other people. I don't know. I Why? Said, because they have so many ugly, admirers. a lot of ugly women. I understand a lot about you know? crime since I was involved up to my neck in crime. I saw my dad. Uh, want to go, uh, he was going for his gun to kill a cattle rustler. Well, did that ever happen to you? No. I, well, do you mean... Uh, I was raised in the Wild West. I never rustled a cattle. And there was real cattle rustling going on. I never rustled a cattle, never rustled Rustled! Well, that's what I said. Russell, Russell. I don't even know Russell. what rustling cattle is all about. The only time I've ever seen anybody get nasty with a cow was over at the slaughterhouse. So we talked about that, you know. And I said, well, Mom, uh, you know, I was like five years old when he was doing this. I said, Mom, uh, what, who is, ha what gun is he going to kill then? This cow wrestler. Wait, I've never seen. I've never seen a six shooter. A six yeah. shooter. And she said, "Well, he's going to use his rifle, of course." And I thought, "Oh, thank goodness, he doesn't have a six shooter. Oh, he probably." Have you ever seen a rifleman that show on television mm -hmm. where he's spinning the rifle around? Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. <laughs> so, a friend of mine said he's. I'll bet he's shooting his old lady at the time. And, you know, and all that guy did is steal a few cows. And he, my dad, you know, so after that, I was mighty careful what I told my dad for kidding? fear that he might go for his trusty well, don't remember, gun don't you remember the and days? shoot them. And, the horse? and he, he don't understand that. That can make you a uh, horse thief. In those days, he used to string them up. <laughs> Well, yeah, and a cattle, I guess the same no. thing. He came from the old <coughs> west the where if you stole a man's horse or cattle, you, oh, you might get minute. shot. Wait might a minute. Shot. Stealing a man's horse, now, from what I understand, is a lot worse than stealing cattle because you take a man's horse, mm -hmm. he's not going to go out and get on a cow and ride it. It just is not going to work. Probably took the horse and the saddle, so he's pretty much pissed. Well, when my mother and dad got in a fight, uh, they, they started quarreling so much, uh, we thought it was prudent to remove the guns from the house. <laughs> Have you ever done that? No. He didn't, wasn't raised in the wild rest, that's for sure. No. He was <laughs> just raised in St. Louis. Who has just been well, in the news quite a bit lately. The gateway to the West, you know, the gateway to, yeah, all kinds of crappy mm -hmm. stuff's happening. Mm -hmm. uh, let's not talk about my hometown, okay? Well, I had boyfriends, you know, I had to be careful because oh. they turned out to be thieves. I mean, Butch Cassidy was their hero. And uh, they would get me involved in stealing. They, uh, everywhere we went, they'd steal something. And I, I had to, I did have to give up that boyfriend, I mean. I wasn't going to go to jail for petty thievery. Well, see, the problem is that, quite and frankly, get that that reputation. I saw Butch Cassidy and the Sundance Kid, and I liked both of them. I mean, I couldn't make a choice. Oh, they, that's Robert the most Redford, charming guy. Paul Newman, Robert Redford, Paul Newman. I mean, they're both good Believe actors. Believe me, old Butch and I'm sure Sundance weren't near as good looking and charming They as, weren't. I've seen actual pictures as, of them. As, uh... Paul Newman and they look like me and that man or what? Yeah, yeah. Well, you know, America, America loves their outlaws. That's what I always maintain. They I love. I don't believe that. They do love, love. Well, they the do too. They love Bitch Cassidy and the Sundance Kid. That one of the most popular said, movies of I like all the actor. time. And I told, I told this guy I met who was a thief. He was a terrible thief. And I said, I'm going to write a book about you because that Is that the one of Famous, yeah, the lump. But he was also a professional thief, practically. 
Who else uh, you going to do? You yeah, got that. You know, if he, uh, if he came in the house, uh, it goes together. I right? mean, like I was missing my uh, coffee pot and. <laughs> uh, Wait a second. I went now. over to his house. I looked up on the shelf. He was right next door of the house. I haven't lived next door to him. He had come in in my absence and had stolen my coffee thermos. It was a beautiful big thing. And he was sitting in there on his shelf. I thought, oh, not too smart, he must either. have picked my lock and come yeah, in my yeah. park, my trailer when I wasn't there and stolen. I mean, I, I know that he stole my dad's brand new uh, Polaroid camera, come well, up missing. Well, let, let's face he it. He stole if a quilt home, from me. He said he needed if, a quilt to if, stay warm. He siphoned gas from my dad's truck to get home on. So this was the kind of... Uh, fellows that uh, but he did was write, available He did for write me. you a nice letter though, I remember that one. Printed every word of it. <laughs> Printed. <laughs> well, he was another, another. <laughs> And he, he had I read no it, over she wrote that. it down. She says, he was born yes. 30 miles from where Butch Cassidy was raised. Butch Cassidy was one of his idols, you know. If you have a famous outlaw, it's grows up around you. This is going to be a, an influence over all the boys, all the boys that aspire to be rough and tough, and they're going to pattern themselves after those wonderful, old, colorful outlaws. I, I, I wrote a letter to Robert Redford, and I said, I listen, uh, you've who, done America disservice. Who's, who's Redford? Glorifying these. Which one is Redford? He played Sundance Kid, and I said, but he lived uh, in Utah. Paul Newman was he, with Cassidy, Yeah, right? Sundance okay. is in Utah, and he time. fell in love with the outlaw trails and outlaws. So I wrote to him, and I said, I'll come down here in southern Utah, and I'll introduce you to an outlaw that everybody in town is scared to death of. <laughs> Are you kidding And they're me? just waiting for him to die Are because you so me? they'll feel you safe. Did that? I said, that's, that's your real Western outlaw. And uh, they'll steal you blind. Uh, right. they I feel uh, better now to turn it upside down. You, you turn, I mean, he's, he's, uh, <laughs> he's snow white compared to some of those so, Western outlaws that I grew up now, with. Now you're casting a spur. All he does is, is, is drink all the time. I mean, that's just vile. He manhood. don't steal. He don't. Uh, Russell Cattle. I he, might see that behind your back. You know, you're only here a couple hours in the morning and then bang, you're out of here. I call it steal. I rape, pillage, I do it all. Oh, you know, gosh. Look, I sure. even eat lunch while you're sure. not paying attention. Oh, he's, he's an outlaw. I mean, uh, there's no doubt about it, a St. Louis outlaw. But, the, you know, the amount of crime he does is uh, surprisingly, uh, I can't believe that he, uh, you know, he don't steal, like I said, and... Uh, I do it behind your back. Oh, guess what I did last he night? I went over him. and stole somebody's <laughs> toilet seat. Really? <laughs> yes, and they were on it at the time. What do you think about that? Whoa, and I'm he probably gives happy. me a sermon when I watch this murder, you know, and I say... Don't don't erase beauty queen murders. I want to see that. And he's going like, oh, how well, I don't know. I just was in the mood of this. I want to watch that. Just, so, I what do you think? Twelve you think records on there. That just it is off the a board. sign of criminality if you do watch uh, murder ID. Dateline, all of those. Uh, there must be a lot of criminals in the United States. Well, there is. I mean, there's a criminal, a big criminal population. You want to check and the floor I live on? <laughs> yeah, right, right. And you know they I'm like not seeing, say anymore uh, after that seeing because no, the somebody criminals, might see uh, this and they come knock on my door. I open the door and then they shove a hammer or a gun in me and go, I don't think we like that, sir. But I, I like I like real true crime cases because usually these criminals they, they tell about how the terrible stuff they did and that they're going to spend the rest of their life in some prison. I think they're getting sufficiently punished for their crimes. And uh, so I don't know why he thinks I'm so uh, strange. Uh, what is it you actually think I am? Because I watch 
criminal ID, he started to make me feel like there's something very seriously wrong with me to think that I would watch this. I, I did not make you think there's something wrong with you, okay? <laughs> I just try to acknowledge the fact that you realize that there is something wrong with you. Oh, there's something wrong with me. Just because my dad was going to kill a cattle rustler. That's <laughs> yes, what I keep telling her. I said, This is what I put in my I've book. I've known you, I what, nine in, years uh, now? I said, nine years? You scare the uh, shit out of me sometimes. You really do. You know, like, Raised oh, up in the wild west now. where... Rootin' tootin' cowboys, you know, you didn't know what they were going to do. And I was born into a family like this, hard drinking, hard riding, and he's never even been on a horse to speak of. Two but he's times. done a lot of drinking, Two so times. that way you have to realize that uh, I was attracted to you because of your heavy drinking. It reminded me of the bad boys <laughs> of Utah, and I'm a reformer. This is what I tried oh, to yeah. decide to do. I mean, there's some people like Wyatt Earp, uh, famous sheriffs. Where's they decided to catch the bad order. guys, reform them, and so I decided Wyatt that I would anybody. take that kind of role in the West. I would be a reformer. So. I've been six, seven years now trying to reform this guy, and he is hardcore. I haven't been able to dent him. So, how do you explain that? I don't know, because you've been on for over 20 minutes and you haven't hit me yet. I don't understand. I'll hit you. It must be the pumpkin. That's I, what it is. She usually whacks me one. I've hit him. You know? I've screamed at him. I've scolded him. I, I've done. I tried everything in my arsenal, and he is incorrigible. He's a St. Louis incorrigible. I call those outlaws. I call those alcoholic an outlaw. He's, you know, he won't quit no matter what. His his mother can beg him on her bended knee. She can. Plead with him. I have to be the one to bring his us up. His wife can leave him. His children can disown him. I, I, I threatened my dad. I threatened to He's disown him. I don't talk to my off, mother anymore. Uh, uh, scoring drugs. I mean, it was just too much for him to turn to drugs after he had drank all those years. So. Yeah, I'd probably be uh, a lot better off if so, I stayed with marijuana. And you're telling me you're not incorrigible? Believe me, he he's incorrigible. If you could tell me how you get to uh, St. Louis, I just don't know. I don't know how he got this way, but I haven't been able to reach him in, in my reforming efforts. So maybe I'm doing the wrong thing, I don't know. But uh, he's left now. I suppose he's in a sense. So, We'll oh, turn. I'm go over and get the rest of the beer so I can sit down and drink the rest of the beer. That's what I'm doing. Oh, oh, he's getting his beer. <laughs> Pardon me. Do you think I'm sorry? A character here. Uh, you know. won't want to show your children uh, this kind of video. It wouldn't probably be a good idea. Bye.